and welcome back to my channel Ardell's Kitchen guys I would be sharing with you um, some float bake and fry salt fish I've got my ingredients here guys that I would be using and um, first of all I've got some chopped onions um, I've got some chopped cilantro um, garlic all-purpose seasoning chop um, spring onions um and half of a have habanero pepper there guys i've got some yeast all-purpose seasoning black pepper i've got some red yellow and green bell peppers um here i've got half of a lemon i've got some sugar salt some baking powder some butter and i've got my flour and here guys I've got my salt fish it's already been prepped guys it's been soaking all night so now I'm gonna go ahead next step I'll go ahead and I'll put it on to boil so to boil all of that salt off but it's been soaking all night and all that salt has washed away okay so I'm gonna go ahead now and boil it all right for about um 15 to 20 minutes okay so here in my pot on my cooker guys I've got some water boiling so I'm gonna put my salt fish now in this water to boil and I'll leave it for about 20 minutes 20 to 25 minutes to boil and then I'll come back and I'll take you through the next process for this So here in this bowl, I'm going to go in with my yeast, a little sugar, and I'm add, going to add my uh, warm water to this yeast and sugar, and I'm proofing my yeast then. I'm going to try to activate my yeast. Give it a little mix and I'm going to go ahead and let's set this aside guys and leave this for about five to ten minutes to rise up okay and while my yeast is rising up guys I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mix the rest of my ingredients into my flour. So I'm going in with my little salt, little baking powder, and the rest of the sugar. With clean hands, I'm going to mix that in well. And then I'm going in with my butter and I'm going to rub all this butter into my flour like so All this goodness all this butter has been rubbed into my flour look at that guys look at that so I'm just gonna wait now for my yeast to rise up and then we'll come back and take you through the next step okay my yeast has risen up nicely there you go guys I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna add my yeast to my flour and I'm gonna go in with clean hands and mix my dough and I would be mixing my dough with some warm water I'm aiming for a soft smooth dough
I'm going to carry on mixing, guys, and then I'll come back. Uh, guys, and when you finish, this is how, what your dough should look like. A nice, soft, smooth dough. So I'm going to set this aside for 30 minutes and leave it to rise up. And then we'll be back, okay? My salt fish has finished boiling, guys. And all the salt is out of the salt fish. I'm going to mash it a little. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to squeeze some of my lemon juice on it. You know, to get rid of some of the smell because it is fish, you know. I'll squeeze some of my lemon juice on it, guys, like that. Remove the pips. All the pip get in there. Give it a good mix. And then, guys, I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to fry this up beautifully. All right. Look at that. On my cooker um, I've got my little pot here guys with some oil so I'm gonna go in now with my onions garlic um, spring onions and peppers and let it go marinade gel together and soften up all those flavors infused nicely that go guys for about three to four minutes so all those flavors can infuse and come together nicely I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a little of my tomato paste just a little bit to give it my salt fish a little color and I don't like things too white I like coloring my chew and my fry up or whatever I'm making next guys I'm gonna go in with my bell pepper I'm gonna let this go now guys and then I'll come back okay I forgot to show you guys my tomatoes I forgot my tomatoes I will be adding that in yeah I'll let it all go nicely I will be adding my salt fish now. Let it all come together beautifully. Look at that.
mix well. Let all those flavors and everything infuse and come gel together beautifully. Look at that guy. And look at that guys. My sausage has fry up beautifully. So I'm going to go ahead now guys and I'm going to turn my heat down and my salt fish is done. Gorgeous. Yeah. So I'm going to move on to the next step. Okay. And take you through that. Look at that. My dough has risen up nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to punch it down. And I'm going to knead this a little to get some most of the air out. So I'm going to dust my surface with some flour. Like so. Turn my dough out. And I'm going to go on to knead this to get some of the air out. And then... I'm going to pinch the dough off into little dough ball, make them out into little dough balls. So I'm going to go ahead like this guys and pinch my dough off like so and make them into little dough balls like this guys and then I'll roll them out and start my frying process okay like so look at that guys yeah I'll do the same process And I'm going to carry, carry on following this process, guys, until I'm out of dough. And I roll them all off into little balls. Okay, I'm going to carry on doing this, guys, and come. And, guys, I've got nine little dough balls, okay? So I'm going to go on now and show you guys I'm going to roll them out and get them ready for frying, okay? So I've got nine. So I'm going to go ahead and roll them out now and show you that process. Okay, guys, I'll show you how I roll out my little bake, yeah? Flowered service. And I just roll my bakes out like so. I don't want them bigger. This is just fine. I'll show you another one. Okay, this is how I roll my bakes out. Put lots of flour because you don't want sticking. And I'll go ahead and I'll do another one and show you that guy. And I'll continue this process until I roll out all my dough. Okay. Guys, I've got my little pan here on my cooker with some oil and I'm going to go ahead now to fry my float bake. So in goes my first batch. I'm going to lower my heat. And my pan can only take like two at a time, guys. So I would be frying like two at a time. I let my bake rock fry and brown up beautifully.
on low heat look at that guys how they're floating up nicely and I'm gonna continue to bask it down with oil like so That's gorgeous. Look at that, guys. It's beautiful. It's raising up beautifully. Guys, and my bake has brung up nicely, guys. Look at that, and it's raising up beautifully. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove my first batch. Look at that, guys. And I'm going to go on to the second batch and I'm going to repeat the same process and I'll come back and show you guys Look at how my bake start raising up beautifully, nicely. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Beautiful. Look at my float bakes. It's gorgeous. And I'm going to carry on, guys, with the next batch until I'm done. Okay, guys, um, this is the finished product, guys, of my fry bakes, float bakes, and fry salt fish, guys. Um, if you like my channel, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. All the measurements and ingredients would be down in the description box, guys. Um... If you're new to my channel, you're absolutely welcome. Please hit the subscription button and the little notification bell so you would be notified whenever I upload a video. Thank you for all your support, guys. Yeah, and I'll see you in my next one. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It would really help my channel. Thank you once again, guys. I appreciate all of you. Thank you. Bye.